In my high school physics class, I was scarred with the image of chain reaction as demonstrated by the old ping pong ball and mousetrap demo. So I thought there was only something that I would scar all of you today with that same image. Um, I'll let it speak for itself. I'll launch the ball. <laughs> now that's a lot of stuff going on at the same time. Again, a great example of the CPU doing all of this collision, all of this physics at the same time as the graphics process is ready to see what. In fact, this thing has a lot of techniques that it turns out at 120 hertz you have to employ to make the scene look realistic. One of them is motion blur. I can slow time down and carry this ball, you can see that it's fuzzy. That's what it gets into motion blur. Of course, it didn't hit anything. Ah, oh, no, it hit. Typically, it really screws me there and doesn't actually get anything. So the thing to think about here is the fact that the CPU, completely independently of the graphics chip, can do all of its physics and all of its stuff very, very easily. You don't have to worry about tension. You don't have to worry about bandwidth. This has the gap mode too. Yeah. <laughs>